Rio says it's ready, and in many ways that is true. The sporting arenas are all set. Brand new tennis courts. A swimming pool that cost a reported $38 million. The water here is pristine, but elsewhere there's something that this city has completely failed to fix. Its sewage system. More than 8,000 litres of untreated sewage flow into the bay every second. The same water where the sailors, the rowers and the long-distance swimmers are going to compete. CCTV took a boat trip with Mario Moscatelli. He's a biologist who's been monitoring Rio's water pollution for 20 years. Tudo isso que a gente está vendo são crimes ambientais cometidos diariamente. All you see here are environmental crimes that are committed daily, not only here in the lagoons, but in the Guanabara Bay, everywhere. It can cause respiratory tract problems, irritate your eyes, cause severe headaches, dizziness, and vomiting. Tontura, vômito. When it won the games, the Rio authorities said this would be fixed by reducing the amount of raw sewage pouring into the sea by 80%. That was then revised to 50%, and even this lower target has been missed by a mile. Brazil's sailing coach says the waters are as bad as ever. The condition of the water has not improved. It is just a bit better at this time of year. The only thing that was done is the group of barriers in the Lagoa Marina around the sewers. And that was done without taking the rain into account. Because if it rains, it will overflow, and the waste will get out in the same way as before. But it's a disappointment for the residents of this city. They were promised that one legacy of this Olympics would be cleaner, safer water. We know that won't be true. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.